Having a scary and exotic animal as a pet has its own sense of adventure to it. When these animals get into the right hands, they can make a great duo. With the right care and training, even the so-called scary animals can become great pets and build a great bond with the whole family. From the tiny centipede to the huge elephants, here are the families who share a home with scary pets. Those famous ape or gorilla uprising movies have taught us nothing and it shows. Pierre and Elaine Thevelin were probably feeling a bit too adventurous when they decided to adopt the most unusual and scary pet you can imagine, a gorilla. She was a baby when the couple adopted her and she weighed just 4 pounds 6 ounces. Fast forward a few years, she's so huge that it's not even possible to get her on the scale. Her size doesn't make her a bad pet though. The gorilla is just as calm when she was a baby and relies on her human parents from time to time, mainly to keep her teeth nice and shiny or to pull out any splinters. If gorillas can be a pet, then why not alligators, right? That's probably the question Mr. Gator from Japan asked himself before getting an 8-foot alligator as a pet. Obviously, he didn't get the unusual pet at its current size. He was walking by a pet shop when he saw a baby alligator. When he again passed the shop six months later, the alligator was still there, so he bought it himself. Mr. Gator named his new pet Cayman Coon, which translates to young Cayman and put it in a small tank outside his home. When his weird pet grew with age, the tank size got bigger too. Another thing that changed along with the tank is that now the alligator comes in and out of Mr. Gator's house and even has a few funny pet videos that he managed to catch on camera. You can find more of Cayman Coon on YouTube along with many more interesting videos on our channel. If you like these kinds of crazy funny videos, hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of our regular videos. Hippos may look cute and innocent, but they are one of the scariest animals in Africa. But that didn't stop people from trying to domesticate these wild pets. One such couple is Tony and Shirley Joubert. Jessica the hippo is their pet, and she may be the most famous hippo in the world. She lives in the River Hode Spruit. She is raised by the couple after her mother was found exhausted at the border of Kruger Park. Jessica is friendly and not aggressive toward her visitors. But not all stories end the same way. Another man who tried his hand at raising this exotic animal as a pet was 40-year-old Maria Sells. He was later found dead in the river after being bitten multiple times by his pet hippopotamus Humphrey. That reminds us, even though they may seem friendly, they are wild animals and can attack at any time. When we think of Texas, the first thing that comes to mind is savage cowboys. It's no wonder that someone somewhere will try to make a wild ox their pet. That's exactly what Bridges and his wife Sharon did. The couple kept the calf after they sold their herd of 52 bison in 2004. The ox is now 11 years old and weighs 2,500 pounds. The Texan couple has even made a bedroom for their exotic pet. He enjoys the occasional movie in his room, and he also eats his breakfast at the table, just like another family member. Aggie is the real-life Pooh Bear, but white. She is a 60-stone pet polar bear of Mark Dumas and his wife. These fearless animal handlers have trained the bear to star in high-budget TV adverts and movies. There are many clips of her playing around with Mark and giving him big loving bear hugs and swimming around with him. According to Mark, it takes more than just courage to make a potentially dangerous animal your pet. It takes years of patience, training, and building a strong friendship. A dog is a man's best friend. That said, not all dogs are meant to be your friend. Some dogs are even banned from being pets for their vicious nature, like pit bulls. That didn't stop Marlon Granin from getting one as a family member. Because of Hulk's huge size, neighbors usually fear the dog and stay as far away as possible. Marlin couldn't be less bothered about his dog's size and lets the huge dog play with his three-year-old son like any other dog. Hulk has recently fathered the cutest litter of pet pit bulls. The bearded dragons may be scary to look at, but they're actually good reptile pets for beginners. Just look at Jade the dragon for example. The five foot long Komodo dragon is a gorgeous female. They are primarily found in the warm weather of Tanzania. You should do your research before getting any kind of pet, especially when the pet has venom at its disposal. The owner of Jade has done a great job handling and raising her. Another reptile you may consider getting as a pet is the Gila Monster. These are the only venomous lizards native to America. They live in deep burrows in the ground, but be warned they are called monsters for a reason. These strange animals are by no means easy pets. The Gila monsters are one of the most dangerous pets that require constant care. This scary video shows just how careful you have to be to handle these strange pets. The owl is usually known as the wisest of all birds for its sophisticated and elegant looks. 
One of these wise birds is the friend of little Ryan Kaji. The little guy has his own YouTube channel called Ryan's World that regularly uploads videos of Ryan's adventures with his pet owl. The bird hangs with the kid the whole day in his store. You can see Ryan playing and chilling with the owl on his YouTube channel. Hawks are not as calm and quiet as owls. They are skilled hunters that can be turned into pets with the right treatment and care. Max was working as a firefighter when he found the bird severely overweight. He brought the hawk back with him in Olympia and nursed it back to health. He even gave her a name, Carol. Max worked for years to get his falconry license. Now the ex-firefighter and Carol take part in various falconry sports. When they are not busy showing off their skills, Carol just chills on Max's shoulder. The bird now has its own 9 foot by 11 foot aviary in the garden of her human friend's house. Elephants are the largest animals you can have as a pet, and Roxy Dankwartz has made that possible. When the rangers found Moyo, she was only a few days old. She was brought back to the Zimbabwe elephant nursery where she was under the care of Roxy. The baby elephant and Roxy developed a strong bond instantly. Over the years, their bond grew and Moyo became like a child to Roxy. The cute elephant follows Roxy wherever she goes and it's quite a sight to see. Sometimes you get a dog as a pet, and sometimes you get an ostrich that believes it's a dog as a pet. It may seem impossible to believe, but that is the case for Suki. She is a funny ostrich from the garden of Lynn McTavish in South Africa. She is also the pet of Lynn, an operations manager of a wildlife reserve. Lynn was there from the very beginning of Suki's life when she hatched from the egg. The 20-year-old ostrich spends most of its days being chased around by the other pets. Lynn enjoys the company of the silly bird more than anything. Does your dog sleep with you? How about a bobcat or two? However insane this may seem, a couple from Texas does that very thing. They have two wild bobcats as their pets, Gypsy and Monaco. In case you didn't know, a bobcat is a wild cat that lives deep in the forests, swamps, and deserts of North America. They are a strange mixture of a cat and a tiger. The amazing fact is, these particular bobcats are potty trained, so in some sense they're even better than your regular cats. Would you be brave enough to trade your regular feline for these well-mannered wild ones? Share with us in the comments below. Teeny little Ronan was born at Bat World Sanctuary in Texas. His mom rejected him, but luckily his caregiver took her place. He gets so excited when he can finally fly. You can keep a bat as a pet. A bat in the wild can live up to 30 years, while only a few pet bats will make it to a year. Bats need special care, housing, and nutrition. They are complicated animals, making it almost impossible to take care of them properly, even if you wanted to. The friendly giraffe that you see bouncing around the house is the house pet of Colin and Theone McRae. Fenn lives happily at the ranch in South Africa with the couple and their four children. She has been a member of the McRae family since birth. It's adorable how she takes extra care to not slide on the tiled floor or to not stoop through the doorways. The 10-foot tall Fen is the best pet the family could ever have. Not all pet stories are as happy and jolly as Fen's. Chance, a one-year-old chimpanzee, has the most heart-wrenching story you'll ever hear. Chance lost her mother in a traumatic way, and instead of taking care of her, her owners just put her in a cardboard box in the corner of their store. By the time she was rescued, it was already too late. She was exhibiting the common stress behaviors like rocking back and forth and having an empty gaze. Being captive for so long took a heavy mental toll on Chance. Let's hope she gets happy and healthy and finds a new home. Among all the scary pets that people actually own, the koala might be the least scary one. This koala is also the most popular koala as well. It even has its own show on Netflix called Izzy's Koala World. Izzy is the seven-year-old owner of the koala bear. Her veterinarian mother, Ali, brought the koala home from work one day. Now, Izzy and her parents work together to rescue koala bears and release them back into the wild animal kingdom where they belong. Izzy enjoys working with her parents along with her pet koala on Magnetic Island in Australia. Sharks are fascinating creatures, but they're not suitable pets. But first, do us a favor. Click that like button to inspire us, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell and you won't miss any interesting videos. Done? Then let's go! You can keep a shark in your home aquarium, but it requires specialized care and living conditions that are difficult to replicate. Moreover, many species of sharks can grow large and become dangerous as they mature, making them unsuitable for most home environments. Keeping a shark as a pet is not only risky but also illegal in many areas. However, there are safe and responsible ways to observe sharks up close. Many destinations around the world offer shark diving experiences, where participants can swim with sharks in their natural habitat. 
Places like Compass K in the Bahamas, Hawaii, and South Africa are just a few of the destinations that offer these experiences. Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo offers a unique experience of shark diving, where visitors can come face to face with sand tiger sharks, reef sharks, and stingrays. The dive takes place in a 10 million liter tank and is suitable for both experienced divers and beginners. These tours are typically led by experienced professionals who prioritize the safety of both the participants and the sharks. It is an unforgettable opportunity to witness these magnificent creatures up close and learn more about their behavior and habitat. Great white sharks are considered the most dangerous animal in the ocean. However, this did not stop one man from forming a friendship with a shark. He cuddles the shark as if it were a normal pet, like a dog or a cat. This proves that, with love, humans can form connections with even the most unexpected creatures. Share your thoughts in the comment section about whether you'd want a shark as a pet. However, it's important to remember that sharks are wild animals and should not be kept as pets. Another Izzy that melted people's hearts is from Pennsylvania, USA. No, this Izzy is not a little girl, but the pet calf of a little girl named Brianna. Calves are domestic animals in general, but it becomes a scene straight out of a Disney movie when you see a little girl and a calf cuddle on the porch. When the girl's mother, Billy Jo Decker, saw them together, the girl tried to cover her tracks. Her mother couldn't stay mad at the cute duo and instead took a picture to share the wholesome moment with us. It doesn't take long for a cute pet story to turn into a scary one, especially when you have a venomous centipede as a pet. Neil Chang, a student from Taiwan, got this Peruvian giant centipede in 2014 when it was much smaller in size. Since then, they have been inseparable. Neil allows the venomous creature to crawl all over his skin. Centipedes have a comparatively long lifespan of about six years. They may seem amusing to some, but these are not the kind of creatures you should be playing with. If you thought Neil was brave enough for getting the centipede, wait till you see the next strange pet on the list. Do you know anyone that owns any scary pets? Which one of these wild animals surprised you the most? Let us know in our comment section. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.